Appulsoft.qualizer 2 version 2.5. This update is all about the phase response. It is now possible to view the phase change caused by the plugin using this phase graph view toggle button. Thinking of the audio as a composition of sine waves, the orange sum curve shows how each frequency's magnitude changes while the dashed phase curve displays how the sine waveforms are shifted in time. Phase changes have a range of minus 180 degrees to 180 degrees. As sine waves are periodic, minus 180 and 180 have the same effect, completely inverting the wave. This is why the phase response curve can wrap around in the display. Before this update, the filter bands in Opqualizer 2 use digital IIR filters only. Such filters do cause phase changes and the ones in Opqualizer 2 are corrected to have consistent frequency responses over the entire range of frequencies possible. This is now called the minimal phase mode because the phase change is the minimal change possible without adding latency. The phase change of any digital filter has to be 0 or 180 degrees at the maximum frequency at half the sampling rate. In minimal mode the phase change always gently curves to zero at the top. Therefore the phase change does alter its shape if the center or cutoff frequency of a filter band changes. This can be seen clearly with this moving low pass filter. The new analog phase correction engine adds a bit of latency to the processing to correct the phase change to match the ideal analog curves over 99% of the frequency range. Now the phase change curve stays the same when the filter frequency is moving. The linear phase engine prevents any phase change from happening by converting the combined filter bands into a linear phase FIR filter. This leads to substantial latency, can produce pre-ringing, and makes fast modulation impossible as the FIR filter can only update a few times a second. To get linear phase response where it is useful, no audible pre-ringing, and still be able to modulate everything quickly, the mixed phase mode has been added. It is by far the most advanced of the modes and there is a post on the Oppulsof blog about some of the math involved. Check the link in the description. The mixed mode uses hybrid IIR and FIR filters. The FIR part adds a few milliseconds of latency and zeroes the phase change wherever it is small. Filters with gentle slopes can be linear phase while highly resonant ones will cause phase change and the ringing will happen after impulses only. As the frequency magnitude changes are done by IIR filters, fast modulation stays possible. The phase response becomes very relevant if multiple signals containing the same sound source are mixed. This happens if multiple microphones are used for one acoustic instrument or when mixing dry and wet effect signals. To demonstrate, here is Ableton Life with two audio channels playing the same sample. It contains one sample impulses. They sound a bit unpleasant but are very useful for demonstration as they contain all frequencies and show up as a horizontal line in the analyzer as long as there is no filtering. An instance of Opqualizer 2 is placed on just one of the channels. It's set to do bandpass filtering using the linear phase mode. The mix down of the straight line with the bandpass unsurprisingly results in a bandshell filter. However, this simple addition of the magnitudes will only happen if the phases of the combined signals match. If Opqualizer 2 is switched to minimal phase mode the result is quite different. One frequency gets attenuated a lot. Checking with the mouse it turns out this happens exactly where the phase change is 180 degrees. In this setup, the phase graph tells us how much extra attenuation will happen if the signals are mixed. As the minimal mode phase curves change over frequency the combination becomes a notch filter and can be quite damaging to something like a symbol. Switching to analog phase mode we get a different result. Now the extra attenuation becomes symmetrical. With the perfect analog modeling of the phase response, the curve becomes symmetrical for symmetrical filter bands types like bandpass, bandstop or bandshelf. It probably won't sound nicer on a symbol, but now the change is much more deterministic and no longer changes curve shape if the filter frequency changes. To avoid undesired frequency cancellations in mixes, mixed or linear mode should be used for multiple channels containing the same audio source. Thank you.